Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've posted a video, probably about like a month, but I have been posting shorts. So if you go on my channel, you'll see a couple of the nail sets that I have made to either sell or I've made for like friends and family. So today I'm actually making a fall set for my best friend. I am combining two different nail designs that she sent me and making it into a whole new one so it can be authentic to her. So today I'll be using Rare Beauty by Ijo Beauty. I'll be using Nude Panther by Not Polish and Milky White by Not Polish. I can't remember if this one glows in the dark, but if it does, I guess it'll be a surprise. So I'm gonna start out with, I think I'm gonna make the thumb orange. And then either the middle finger and the ring finger will be nude. And then everything else will be white. Maybe. I'm trying to make up my mind ex on exactly what I'm doing. But I know for sure I'm going to make this thumb orange. So I did end up making one thumb orange, one thumb white. The index finger was orange the middle and ring finger ended up being nude and the pinky was orange and then on the
So now I'm applying acrylic on the last nail and then I'm gonna be switching over to file them down because the last thing you need is for your nails to look real bulky, especially as press-ons. You want the stability of the acrylic without the bulkiness of it. So now I'm about to go in with the French design on the middle finger and on the opposite hand, it will be the ring finger. So I can start um, the fall plaid look for this look. So after doing a second coating of white, I'm gonna actually outline it in brown to start the plaid. And then I'm gonna go in with orange for a pop of color and in green for a pop of abstract color. Since majority of the set is like orange and red and it's real nature giving, I was like a little pop of green will help. <laughs> So now I'm going in with my marble inks. I actually got these off of Amazon. I believe it's a set of six. I'm using the orange and I'm using the red color. Um, I thought about leaving little gaps of white, but I figured I could go in with polish to do it because I didn't really want to see the background. I just needed the background to make the red and orange pop. Afterwards, I'll be going in with black and gold to put in the little um, patterns. So here it doesn't show because I didn't realize it wasn't in frame. I took some yellow polish and some clear and some um white and I mixed it. And then I used my finger to like tap it in because I wanted it to mellow out the red and orange and then also bring back some of that white. And then here I am drawing in the little veins. I didn't want to overdo it. Just wanted like little touch, little touches of black veins throughout.
So as while editing, I realized that I captured no part of me putting on the crystals, like none. So um, the crystals that I use actually came from Blue Streak. I don't know what the name is. I would actually have to look, but um, I used their large size orange and like the little miniature size um, orange, orange is brown, champagne and clear crystals. And then I went in with the caviar beads in gold. So now I'm doing the 3D um, flower, just um, three petals to the side and then two of the long ones on top. And that would be it. I didn't put anything in the monomer to help it grow, grow, Lord. I didn't put anything in the monomer to make it dry faster. It's like I said earlier, I gel beauty, some of their colors, not all, tend to dry a little fast. So that's why I was like, when it comes to 3D flowers, they're perfect or 3D art. They're perfect for that because they dry really, really fast. And then the brush I'm using, I got it off of Amazon. I think it's called a sculpting brush. I'm not really sure. It was such a long time ago when I bought it, but it's perfect for creating 3D art. Okay, so now I'll be inserting the two pictures that she sent me for how I came up with this look. I made um some little changes to suit her better because she's really big on bling. She likes the glitz and the glamour. So I went ahead and I did that. Try to keep it as close to the picture as possible without it being exactly like the picture. Let me know what you guys think. Just like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.